Hi friends, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about R minus one's complement in digital electronics course, digital logic design course, and switching theory and logic design course. In the previous video, we have already discussed R's complement in digital electronics course. Now we have to discuss about R minus one's complement. In R minus one's complement, R is nothing but base or R radix of the particular number system. R minus one's complement is also known as diminished radix complement. Whereas R's complement is also known as a radix complement. If R value is equal to 2, R minus 1's complement is known as 1's complement. If R value is equal to 8, then R minus 1's complement is known as 7's complement. If R value is equal to 10, then R minus 1's complement is known as 9's complement. If R value is equal to 16, then R minus 1's complement is known as 15's complement. Based on the R value, for each and every R minus 1's complement, a particular name is there. Okay. Now, what is the formula used for calculating R minus 1's complement? So, the formula is R power N base 10 minus 1 minus capital N. Okay. Where R is nothing but base over R radix. Next. N is nothing but small n number of digits. Number of digits in the given number. Next. Capital N is nothing but given number. Okay. So, once we are knowing the for once we are knowing the formula, we have to know each and every component in that formula. R is called as base over R radix of the given number. Small n is nothing but number of digits in the given number. Capital N is nothing but given number. So by using that formula, how to find out the complement of a given number? That can be explained with one example. Find out the nice complement of 4625 base 10. So the given number is 4625 base 10. So what is the radix of the given number? Here that is 10. Capital N is nothing but given number 4625. Next, small n is nothing but number of digits in the given number. How many number of digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 digits are there. Now, we have to find out the complement. So, nice complement of four thousand six hundred and twenty-five base ten can be calculated as now so the formula is r power n base 10 sorry base 10 minus 1 minus n we are knowing each and every component of this formula now we have to uh, substitute here First one, R value. R value is 10. Next one, this is R power N. Sorry. 
What is n value? n value is 4. 10 power 4 base 10 minus 1 minus n. n value is 4625. This is also base 10. Now, what is 10 power 4 value? 10 power 4 value is 10,000. So, 10,000 base 10 minus 1 minus 4625 base 10. So, 10,000 minus 1. So, that is 9999. So, base 10 minus 4625 base 10. So, both are containing the same base or a radix. Then, we have to subtract directly. So, here 99999 minus 4625. So, 9 minus 5. So, that is 4. 9 minus 2. That is 7. 9 minus 6. That is 3. 9 minus 4. That is 5. 5374 with base 10. So, therefore, nice complement of Four thousand six hundred and twenty five base ten is five thousand three hundred and seventy four base ten. Okay. So then what is the tenth complement of this number? So tenth complement of this number is nothing but nice complement plus one. So that is therefore tenth complement. of 4625 base 10 is equal to nice complement of 4675 value is 5374 plus 1 so that is 5375 base 10 okay we already know that tens complement is equal to nice complement plus 1 we are already calculating the nice complement value then to find out the tens complement of the given number is equal to nice complement of the given number plus 1 that is 5374 plus 1 that is 5375 so in this way we have to calculate the nice complement of the given number now we can go for the next problem now the second problem is find out the ones complement of 11011 base 2 so the given number is 11011 base 2 now what is n small n value small n is nothing but number of digits in the given binary number so there is 1 2 3 4 5 5 digits next Capital N is nothing but given number 11011 and base, base or a radix of the given number is 2. Now we have to calculate the ones complement, ones complement of 11011 base 2 as the formula is R power n base 10 minus 1 minus n. Okay. Now, what is R value? R value is 2. What is n value? Small n value that is 5. 2 power 5 base 10 minus 1. So, minus n. What is n value? 11011 is 2. Next one. Here 2 power 5 is nothing but 32 base 10 minus 1 minus 11011 base 2. Next 32 minus 1. Here 1 is also base 10. So 32 minus 1 is 31 base 10 minus 11011 base 2. So, here we do not directly perform the subtraction operation between these two numbers because 31 has the base 10, 
11011 has the base 2. So therefore we do not perform the subtraction operation. To perform the subtraction operation, so this binary number can be converted into decimal number. How to convert the binary number into decimal number by using positional weight method. Here I am writing so 11011. So what is the positional weight here? 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4. So positional weights always write from left to right to left. So here this one positional weight is 2 power 0, this one positional weight is 2 power 1, 0 positional weight is 2 power 2, 1 positional weight is 2 power 3, 1 positional weight is 2 power 4. Once we are assigning the positional weights, each and every digit is multiplied with corresponding positional weights. So that is 1 into 2 power 4 plus 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 0. Okay, so 1 into 2 power 4 is nothing but uh, 16 plus 1 into 2 power 3 is nothing but 8. 0 into 2 power 2 is nothing but 0. 1 into 2 power 1 is nothing but 2. 1 into 2 power 0 is nothing but 1. So 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1. So 24 plus 2, 26 plus 27. So 27 base 10. So now we are writing 31 base 10 minus 27 base 10. Now both are containing the same base value we have to perform the subtraction operation 31 minus 27 so that is equal to 4 base 10 so what is the equivalent binary value we already know that the equivalent binary value is I to write it as 0 0 1 0 0 base 2 so what is the equivalent value 1 0 0 base 2 Okay, so here in the MSB bits, any number of zeros are there, so there is no nothing value. So because of that reason, directly we have to write 100 base 2. So this is therefore, we can say that one's complement of 11011 11 base 2 is so 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, base 2. Okay, next one. Already we are getting 1's complement. Then 2's complement is equal to 2's complement of 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2 is 1's complement plus 1. Here 1's complement value is 4. 4 plus 1, that is 5. 5 means 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, base 2. So simply we can say that 1, 0, 1, base 2. Okay. So in this way, we have to find out the nice complement and one's complement of the given number by using the this formula. Okay. So without using formula also, we have to find out that can be discussed in the next video. I hope all of you understanding this video if you understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so develop srinivasarao if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts thank you thank you one and all for watching this video Please refer the previous videos also. Thank you.